to any and any source of energy write a short, short notes yeah short notes on any source of energy any source of energy okay have done the homework or not yes sir i have written about water and geothermal energy okay what about the remaining people sir i have done sir raghu okay raghu on what source of energy written sir solar about the solar energy remaining people what about the remaining people so i went to out of session so that's why i didn't get i kept on today yes right What about the rest? Hmm? Your friend is the answer. You didn't complete the homework. First, I have given the homework like write the different components present in the circuit and their symbols. So, battery symbol, electrical bulb. Switch in on position, switch in off position, wire, electrical cell. So these are the some symbols I have already mentioned. Apart from this, also some more symbols will be there that I asked you to copy in the classwork notes. Have you done that homework or not? Yes, sir. Raghav, I did it. Raghav did good. The remaining people: Fatma Chaitanya, Gohit Kunal, Mahavir Rishi. Sir, what did you said to do? I didn't understand. About the symbols for the different components present in the circuit. Uh, sir. Yeah. Yeah, no, sir. I am a little bit late. Uh, can you tell what you told? I am asking about the homework. Next class. Okay. Sir, I have not done this uh, thing again, but I have done already in my classwork from school, right? Yes. Okay. Sir, me also, sir. I did it twice in class and even seventh. Just share me that image, okay? What you have done? From classwork, right, sir? Yes, sir. One second, I'm opening it. So today, so we finished up to the combination of electric cells, right? We can connect them in the parallel way or in the series way, and each cell will provide only one point five volts of electricity, right? So if you are joining the cells to a sir, what about the answers? Which answers? Sir, the homework answers. I'll check it. I'll check it. Okay. Okay. So this class for my work. These are the things we discussed in the last class, right? Each cell provides the one point five volts of electricity. If you want more voltage, then you have to connect more number of cells, either in the series way or in the parallel way. Okay. So Raghu, those who done the homework, you can just raise your hands and send it to my WhatsApp number after the class. Oh, okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, and I am going to keep the message in the group itself today that you are not done the homework. Remaining people, except Raghu and Fatima. Only Raghu and Fatima has done the work. Remaining people didn't complete the homework at all. Sir, but I did not. I did not. Huh? Sir, I did, but I did half only, sir. Just submit in the okay. And uh, the standard is to turn on your video first. I will not repeat you again and again each and every time.
so in the last class also studied about the battery the terminals positive terminal and the negative terminal okay now can you hear me properly yes sir we can hear you okay yes so whatever the combination you can see here is the parallel combination of the two cells to form the battery so when you are joining these two cells it will provide the voltage of 3 ohms each cell will provide 1.5 ohms right so when you are combining these two it will provide total of 3 ohms energy so heating effect of the electric current also discussed in the last class so which substance will show the heating effect when you are passing the electricity what type of substance will show the heating effect when we are passing the electricity sir can you repeat which substance will show the heating effect when we are passing the electricity which are the substance is having more resistance will show the heating effect right yes sir so which are the substance is having more resistance to the electric power it will show the heating effect okay so like uh, we use heater and uh, that heaters right or the immersion yeah. cold water heaters or in some cases you have the electrical stoves also and uh, nowadays you have the electrical um, stove what is that induction stove sir induction stove yes sir yes. so all this will contain the heating element called as coil okay this heating element will have the high resistance sir are you there sorry sir is speaking sir hear me or not yes sir i can hear you sir now i can hear you okay so these devices will have the heating element heating coil called as elements So it will have the very high resistance. Due to that having high resistance, whenever the electricity is passing through that substance or through that material, instead of passing the electricity, they will produce the heat energy. Okay. Now electrical energy is converting into the heat energy in the substance which is having high resistance. Clear the statement? Yes. Okay. So what is the meaning of resistance first? the degree to which a material opposes the passage of current through itself is known as the resistance okay so whatever the degree to which material is opposing the passage of the current it is called as an resistance okay actually when electric current passes through the high resistance wire the electrical energy is converted into the heat energy and thus heat energy heats up the wire clear the statement is it clear or not yes sir yes first raise your hands who can all hear my voice properly chaitanya gohit and kunal what happened yes sir Can you hear my voice properly or not, sir? I uh, actually got disconnected, sir. I joined like three minutes ago. What about Chaitanya? Sir, also, sir, about about the homework, we actually send you, sir. Just send to my WhatsApp number. Okay, sir. So next one is the factors on which heating effect of current depends. So what are the different factors on which the heating of the current will depends upon? The what is the first one? The resistance of the wire. Whenever the wire is having more resistance, it will get heated up more when you are passing the electricity. So greater the resistance of the wire, greater will be the heat produced in it. Okay, by a given current. So if you choose two wires, one of the copper and other one is a nichrome of equal length and equal thickness, and pass them the equal amount of current through them for the same duration, then we will notice that nichrome wire will become hotter in comparison to the copper wire. 
what is the main reason when you are taking the two different materials or the two different wires one is the copper the other one is the nichrome in which case the wire is become more hotter sir nichrome why what is the main reason because heat passes through it like it yeah uh, sir more its resistance power is more the resistance in the case of nichrome is greater than the copper wire so copper is a good conductor of electricity right they will conduct the electricity yes sir. yes sir. so it will pass the electricity easily there is no resistance at all or we can say less resistance in the case of copper but in the case of nichrome instead of conducting the electricity it will conduct it will have the more resistance so due to the more resistance the electrical energy is converted into the heat energy now if you see the electrical stoves in the olden days okay what will be there inside that some coil will be formed right in circular way like as a spring yes sir have you seen that image anybody have seen the image so can i show the image i check it and i will show it to you okay one minute Just wait a minute, okay? Wait a minute, please. I will show the image of the electrical stoves. Okay, so. So. Just I'm copying the image. sir 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 uh, hello can sir your yeah, voice is not uh... how can you hear me yes sir yes sir. we can see the picture how can you see the picture here yes sir yes sir so this yes, sir. whenever the electricity is passing through this coil instead of conducting the electricity it will have the more resistance so the more resistance is converting into the heat energy heat energy yes sir Yes, we have the gas stoves, which is running on the LPG. At the same time, we have the like an right now we have the induction, right? But we cannot see the induction inside clearly. Yes, sir. No. Yes. It looks like normal and easy one, but inside the induction stove, we have this type of coils only. So, which are converting the electrical energy into the heat energy. Okay. so when it is getting heated up more what is happen it will convert to the red color right yeah yeah so it is also getting the red color also that's why okay but we can see so but is that heat like enough to like boil water or something yeah which are using to converting heat energy now we are using for other purpose only right for boiling of water yeah so but like we directly put it on fire so like uh, is this like heat like enough for cooking no 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 whatever the heat generated here will be used for the cooking or the boiling of water okay suppose if you take kettle okay. everyone knows kettle sir water kettle so water kettle yes sir actually no sir heat up the water don't know no sir sir you are saying that one in home which we call geyser right Not the geyser. Geyser is the one which will. Uh, there is also yeah one of the application only. So it will be like thick coal, no sir. Electric kettle, you don't know. No sir. No I sir. Think, well, I think this one. I think I'm thinking one. Yes, sir. I know the kettle. Just wait a minute. I will show the image. Or iron box. Sir, you will know, sir. Iron box. Yes, sir. The iron box also. What is going to happen? So before, like in olden days, before like these uh, iron boxes with current came, before they used to put coal in the iron box. Yeah, sir. So this time they are keeping a charging. Now in the case of iron box, also we have the coils inside the iron box. So when you plug the iron box now to the board switchboard, it will convert the electricity into the heat energy only, right? 
So we have the adjustment knob. If you want, decrease the knob. If you want less heat, you can decrease the knob. But you are doing the higher end with the help of heat energy or not? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No. But we cannot yes. directly. And when you place it on the cloth, also it will not get stick because we have a non-stick coating on the iron box. There is a Teflon coating. Okay. So due to the Teflon coating, it will not catch the fire easily. But if you keep for the longer time on the cloths, what will happen? Sir, it heated, heated up and burn. It will heat up and uh, burn. Yes, okay. Now can you see this type of uh, things in the home? Just wait a minute, I will project it on the... This one. Yeah, sir, heating, it will be like, they'll pour tea, sir. Yes, sir, kettle. Okay, tea or something. But generally, it's hot tea. It is used for... Hot tea, tea. it's an electric kettle. Yeah, sir. Yes, sir. If we put uh, water, 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 boil our eggs and we can remove yeah, sir, it. Uses sir, it will be hot. Sir, it uses electricity to boil your okay. okay. Sir, I'm not able to hear your voice. Sorry? Hello. Sir, it is not able to hear your voice. It's in. It's okay. Just rejoin the Rithvik once again. This is the electric kettle. In this also, the electrical energy is converting into the heat energy for the boiling of water. Okay, so these are the main source. In all the things, what is the main material? The heat. Nichrome. That thing we'll use. Example, nichrome we'll use. Because nichrome is having high resistance now. So they'll heat up, they'll convert the electrical energy into the heat energy. Clear that point? So what is the electric material we are using? Yes. Electrical room heaters, electric iron, geysers and all. What material we are using? Nichrome. Nichrome we are using. Okay. Then what is the second point? The magnitude of the current passed through the given wire. If the magnitude of the current passed through the given wire is greater, the heat produced also will be greater. If the normal amount of the current flows through the copper wise of the household electrical wiring, then the wire does not become much hot. But if the large current flows in the same wiring accidentally, what will happen? What will happen? Wires will burn. Yeah. Okay. The heating of the heating of the Substance will depend not only upon the type of material, but upon the amount of current passed through that material. If we are passing a large amount of current or the excess amount of the current at the same time, okay, what will happen? The substance also got heated up very fast. Once it's reached the point, sometimes it will short circuit also. Yeah. Understanding? Yeah, sir. Okay. So these are the two things in which electrical energy is converted into the heat energy. Then what is the application of heating effect of current? Sir, mix up and uh, we can see some... Uh, Sir, electric fuse is also made uh, in like a safety device called the electric fuse. Yeah, electric fuse. Whenever the electricity is passing more, what will happen? The fuse wire get heated up and which will diffuse or which will break. Yes or no? Yes, sir, it will melt and break the whole circuit. So when it becomes too hot, it will melt and it will break easily. Have you seen the electrical fuse anywhere? Uh, yes, sir, like in house recently. Yes, sir, can you explain this point only the applications of the heating effect of current? So what is the first application for the production of light? The heating effect of electric current is utilized in the electrical bulbs. Okay, so if you take the uh, uh, incandescent bulbs, means whichever the bulbs is glowing red color or the yellow color, right? In the olden days, you have the bulbs which have the filament and all the transparent bulbs are there, right? Yes, sir. You have the red color, red color glow. So those bulbs 
will produce the light energy as well as the heat energy. Okay, that is the first application of the heating effect of the current. For the production of light, the heating effect of the electric current is utilized in the electrical bulbs. Okay, sir. And that means the tungsten, the filament will heat up more. Then only it will produce the light, right? Yeah, yes, sir. The tungsten will have the high melting point. It will not melt easily. Instead of that, you get heated up very fast and will produce the light energy. What is the second one? For the working of electrical heat appliances such as water heaters, electrical room heaters, electric iron. Okay. The heating effect of electric iron is utilized. So you can prepare the different electrical instruments which you want to convert from electric energy into the heat energy. Like heaters, iron, electric stove, induction, iron boxes, all the things. What is the third one? Sir, can you repeat? Which one? So just now what you said. So if you want to you convert the electrical energy into the heat energy, or we have want the heat energy as application in the home. What do yes. you water heaters will use? Okay. Yeah, yes, sir. Electric room heaters. If you go to the cold countries like Switzerland or some other cold region areas, they also require the room heaters, right? To increase the temperature inside the room. Yeah, sir. Heat. Okay. In that case, also we'll use them. Some electrical devices which will provide the heat energy. Okay. Next one is the iron box, electrical iron box. So here we are using for the ironing of the sheds. So yes, sir. This is also one of the electrical application only, right? Just we'll plug the iron box plug in the socket so that it will use the electrical energy into the heat energy. Geysers. That is a common in every house. Okay. So all these are the heating effect of the current only, right? Yes, sir. What is the last one? Heating effect of electric current is utilized in the safety device called an electrical fuse. So whenever the high voltage or high electricity is coming suddenly into the home due to any other reason, the fuse wire will melt and will break so that the entire power supply will be disconnected. There is a safety purpose only, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nowadays, we don't use the electrical fuse mostly in the homes. We'll use the MCBs. MCBs is a... Sir, MCB or MCP? Sir, MCB. MCB. Can you see here this type of switches in your home? Yes, sir. Most yeah, sir, it's a miniature circuit breaker. Only it will be some motor to off and on. Yeah, motor will be, will be there or. Uh, It'll be in the house mains also. House yes, sir. Yeah, sir. MCBs. Okay, wherever the short circuit is happening, it will fall automatically. So automatically it will go to off, sir. That's what. Whenever the short circuit is happening or any wrong connection is happening in the home. It will off automatically. That is only the miniature circuit breakers that we'll discuss. Okay. So for us, yesterday off, sir. Yesterday short circuit. Okay. So can you see this image? This is a complete bulb. Yes. Sir. And sir, you have that too. Tungsten filament. Sir, for sir for bell, we should not keep two wires mixer. It will burst. Which one? Sir, means two wire connected, we should not keep, sir. We should divide them. No. Here, two wires are connected with the filament, right? Yeah, so that's why it's a short circuit. It will flow along the filament and come back to this electrode. When the two, touch, uh, when the two filaments touches also, it will not break. Okay. The next one is the CFL. So after this, uh, in um, sir, CFS means compact fluorescent lamps. So next one, is as a CFLs. What is that CFLs? Compact. Um, um, sir, like we use in our daily life, the uh, uh, tube light, right? So that uh, big one. Compact fluorescent lamp. Yes, sir. The is that. In the tube at home, but we are not using this type of lights, right? The second image. 
Sir, we used to use in this like 2010, 2000 like that. We can use it. But now they are not like. Now they are not using like this. Sir, we have no. You have in their home, no problem at all. But most. Well, almost they are not using, sir. Yeah, sir, they are getting circle one upside only. Okay, so. The electrical bulb is basically used for producing light, but also it releases the heat, which is not desirable because a major part of electricity is consumed by the film is converted into the heat and results in the wastage of electricity. Understand why they are replacing the normal bulbs, which you have seen here to this CFL or the LED. What is the main thing? What is the main reason? Sir, can you repeat your question again? As you move from olden days to nowadays, we are replacing the red color bulbs with the LED bulbs or the CFL bulbs. Yes, sir. Why? Okay, what is the main reason for that? Sir, because the CFLs and the uh, uh, tungsten one, uh, it will break, sir, if uh, any, uh, like, uh, when it will be more and it gets heat up and it will be uh, broken. Sir, actually, uh, sir, like in before in the in the bulbs, sir, it used to even produce heat energy. Like it used to like break easily, and also it uh, consumes a lot of uh, electric. electricity. Uh, yes, sir, sir. But fluorescent bulbs, uh, sir, they consume a lot le like uh, less comparative electricity to them. So when you take the olden bulbs, the red glowing bulbs are there, right? Instead of producing the so it will produce the light energy along that it will also produce a more amount of heat energy. So for the production of heat energy also, the need of electricity. So electricity is consuming in both ways, right? Producing of heat energy and the light energy. But we don't want that heat energy first. We want only the light. Yes or no? If you want only the light, I have to produce only the light energy, right? No. Uh, whereas LED lights uh, do not produce heat. Olden bulbs are producing the more heat energy as well as the light energy. But nowadays, CFLs or the LED bulbs, which are used the energy only to produce the light, not the heat. They will not heat at all. Okay. We are moving from red color glowing bulbs to the CFL, CFL to the LED. Uh, your voice is going up and down sometimes. No, sir, it's not going. First, clear. What about the rest? Sir, it's clear, sir. Yes, sir, it's clear, sir. It's clear. However, we, before purchasing the bulb, tubes or the CFL, we should look for the ISA marks. What is this ISA mark? Which sir, mark? Sir? The video of Indian standard servants, uh, it is uh, it is made in the India only. So it is a look. It's not made in India. It is a stand. Okay. We can see so many virtual products and the duplicate products in the market, right? So, which sure. are the bulb? Sir, this is a standard compliance mark for industrial products in India, right? Something. Good. So, ISI is the Bureau of Indian Standards. This is the standard or the quality marks of the Indian products. So, which are the product you are buying with the ISI mark? We can say that it's a safe to use okay and consume the minimum amount of energy understanding it is a stand yes, sir. It is a safe to use as well as consume the less amount of energy so you can see so many types of bulbs which are available cheaper cost also but those are not isis because they are prepared locally and they'll consume a lot of energy so when you're going for the next time to buy these things and all, you check for the ISA mark on the bulbs or any other product which you're going to buy. So it is not compulsory to be there on all the products. Some of the products should be compulsory, okay? The next one is electrical fuse. So, Fatima, can you read the paragraph? Sure, sir. A safety device which works on the heating effect of current and Prevent, prevent electric fires or damage to elect, electrical appliances due to excessive flow of current is known as the fuse. 
This safety device consists of a short length of a thin wire of thin plated copper having a low melting point and this wire has a much greater resistance than the rest of the electric wiring in the house. So what is the main purpose of the fuse? What is the main purpose of fuse? So can I for like electric fuse uh, like it uh, prevents a fire and sir, like when there is short circuit due to a large flow of electricity like sir, it will prevent the fire and damage uh, to the electric appliances. The fossil fuels are used to produce energy, right? Sir, In the home, it, they are going to produce heat. Oh my gosh! It breaks the fuse in like. Uh, it helps like in uh, preventing damage to objects. Okay. Satyika, are you there? No. Next, um, Chaitanya. Chaitanya. Next, Jait. Rusty. Yes, sir. So what do you understand from this paragraph? Sir, uh, Sir, actually, I, I wasn't able to hear, sir. Sir, can I tell? Sir, can I, sir, speak? I'll speak. How can you see that? Yeah, sir. Sir, actually, I'm electric. Uh, okay. Sir, it's electric fuse, sir. The first, uh, second one. Can you see the image here? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So can you see this type of fuses in any other electrical appliances like um, stabilizers in the television or in some of the switchboards? So then why does it have like the glass thing around it? So it's just for safety purpose only. So electricity will pass from this end to this end with the help of thin wire. So these wires will have a low melting point. Whenever the suddenly high voltage came now, it will melt easily and it will break inside the glass itself. Okay, so thank you, sir. Okay. Or else can you see this type of switches in the car? Just wait a minute. Yes, sir. So you can drive electric fuse in car. This is the electrical fuse in the car. So you can see this type of fuses in the car. Yes, sir. Yeah, sir. Like when you open the front part. So there will be many electric fuses like contact, contact. So one minute, sir. So can you keep like that on my so see this switchboard now? There is one fuse here, right? So there's one fuse here. This type of fuses you can see in the old homes. Yes, sir. Okay, so these are 
electrical fuse, which are commonly used in the whole quarry. How can you see the image? Yes, sir. Yes. You can use in the old and new. Different types of fuses. Areas, what will happen? It will melt easily and it will break it easily. That's only the electrical fuse, and it's one of the standard safe. Yes, sir. Oh, this is too low. Okay, can you hear me now? Sir, sometimes it's low and sometimes it's high. Yeah, sir, that's what I'm telling, but uh, can I still? Sir, what I said, sir? You told me it's not low, right? That time I said. Maybe it will be clear now. Don't worry. Sir, again, it's still low. low. It's still low. Still low. Very low. low. Yes, it's now very low. How can you hear me or not? Not properly. Yes. Hmm? Sir, 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 we can hear you, but not properly, sir. Yeah, sir. Hello. Sir, sir some breaking is there. Yeah, sir, it's breaking. No, sir, it's clear, sir. No, it's breaking. Yeah, it's breaking. What are the main cause for the law? damage in the household wirings? What is the first one? Overloading. What is the meaning of overloading? So the voltage gets really high. There is too much current. The voltage gets really high. Overloading is not due to the voltage. It will happen during the short. There is a lot of current. Overloading means what? Yes. Sir, uh, sir, uh, well, many, uh, like many yeah, like electronic this, gadgets are uh, connected to one plug, sir. So when you're joining too many electrical gadgets to them, thin wire, mm -hmm. overloading of the wire. Sir, sir? sir? sir your voice is going. Sir, your voice is breaking for me, sir. Can you repeat? It's not breaking, but slow, sir. Yes, sir, it's slow. Oh. Yes, sir. Now, can you hear me properly? Okay. okay. So, overloading means what? Yeah. When... So, uh, it's so, again, it's happening. Yeah, sir. So it was uh, perfect, but when you just start recording, it got a little low. Cause a large current flow in household electric wiring. An extremely large current can flow in household electric wiring circuits under two circumstances, overloading and short. Circuit. We might have ha read reports in the newspaper about fires caused by short circuits and overloading. Now let us study two terms. Overloading. It is a situation when too many electrical appliances are connected to a single socket. Appliances. Yeah, appli appliances are connected to a single socket. They draw an uh, extremely large, I mean, large amount of current. From the household circuit. The flow of the large current due to the overloading may heat the copper wires of householding wiring to a very high temperature and fire may be started. Okay. So you are connecting the many appliances to the single socket. No. The problem is there. Hello? Yes, sir. Now problem is coming. Breaking. Sir, low, sir. No, sir. Sir, no, sir. I'm breaking. Sir, it's not breaking, but slow. 